is the seed that is deep in the darkness of the compacted earth that has the greatest chance to sprout up, grow healthy roots, and to sprout abundant fruit. Hello, I'm really excited to be here with you and to share with you a very special message. I want to talk about this little seed right here. It's possible that you're stumbling upon this video right now in a very, very dark place. And if you are, I'm really very sorry. It's going to get better. And I hope the time that we get to spend together will be helpful for you. If you're not finding this in a dark place, then fantastic. Let's, let's have a lot of fun together. Um, statistics state that depression and anxiety are at all-time highs. And even though we have amazing techno technology, it's like we're connected more than ever, but we're lonelier than ever. And my hope for making this video is to give you hope. It's, it's funny when people say in their offended tone of voice, they're just trying to get your hopes up. Heck yeah, I'm trying to get your hopes up. I want you to have hope, and that's what this video is about. Because within you, you have what it takes to have whatever it is you want. In other words, you can have your cake and eat it too. Wait, that's apple pie a la mode. Even better than cake. Like I said, you can have whatever it is that you want. But first... You gotta believe that you have what it takes to succeed. It's that seed that's buried in the dirt that has the best chance at a bright future. So I really want you to think about this little seed right now. And we're gonna use it as an analogy. What kind of fruit do you want growing in your life? Do you want one little rotten tomato? Or do you want an entire orchard of trees bearing abundant fruit? Of course you want the, the orchard. That, that word stumbles me a lot. I say orchard, orchid, orchard, but it's orchard. Lots and lots of trees. If you don't believe me, go to Google, type it in, O-R-C-H-A-R-D. Look it up. You can look at pictures of it. And I'm speaking metaphorically because we don't really care about growing anything right now. We want to grow our mind and grow our influence and be able to grow the, the results in our life to give us the life that we want, to be able to Give us the apple pie a mode, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> so let's use our imagination right now. And let's, let's picture this little seed 20 years from now. And it sprouts up into a big, beautiful tree with white flowers and green leaves. Now picture this, this little girl. She's really small. She's beautiful. And her whole world is full of chaos. But picture her behind that tree down on her knees, her jeans dirty from kneeling in the soil, and she's praying. And she's praying to a God who gives her peace and comfort and makes her finally feel safe and is doing amazing work in her to take her story and turn it into a really amazing story of redemption from her tragedy. Then let's fast forward 20 more years later, that little seed is continuing to grow, continuing to bear fruit, and you can picture that same beautiful little girl wearing a gorgeous white dress and holding the hand of a young man leading her in prayer. Now imagine that tree has all its white flowers falling to the ground. Some of the flowers are still on the tree. Some of them are on the ground. And it's just creating this beautiful atmosphere. And this couple, they're saying their vows in front of their loved ones. And it's a beautiful testimony. And it's right there. Because that tree sprouted, sprouted from that one single seed. That's, that tree and its flowers were responsible for that beautiful atmosphere. And also imagine the many generations of birds, squirrels, bugs that lived there. And how it was a, part of, uh, a vital part of the circle of life. Now my imagination and your imagination are going to go to different places. Because we both have experienced different lives. We have both seen different views. But I want your imagination to run wild right now, thinking about how that seed could be sprouting. I don't want you to stop thinking about that seed ever. I want you to really imagine the fruit that you want in your life. And this is, this is what's really exciting. <laughs> because this one seed that's within you could knock off all the fruit of the bad seeds that have sprouted up. 
Um, I'll tell you what that seed is. That seed is a magical seed. And it's the, a seed of greatness. You have inside of you everything it takes to be successful. Everything it takes to create the life that you want. Everything it takes to be who you want to be. To live the life that you want to live. And to have the things that you want to have. And I talk about some of that, that negative fruit. But first I want to talk about some people that really have been very successful. They've overcome some very major things. And because they recognized they had that seed of greatness within them, because they had hope, they were able to succeed. People like Sam Walton and Ray Kroc and John Wooden and Michael Jordan and Tom Brady, Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and modern day artists like Drake and so many others. Um, Colonel Sanders and Thomas Edison. And I think about, think about Abe Lincoln. He got punched in the face on the Senate floor. He lost election after election, race after race. He lost a child, lost a wife, and somehow he still became president because he was persistent, because he had hope, because he knew within him he had greatness. And he is probably one of the most remembered presidents of all time. Somebody like Viktor Frankl, and if you don't know some of these names or some of their, their stories, make sure you look them up, and my hope is that you'll be able to get a, a book with some more of these stories of, about these people and how they overcame all these different things. People like my mentor, Mr. Bill Lewis, my wife, Stephanie, or my friend, Michael Vernon, who is also an author and a public speaker, people that have overcome amazing challenges and it didn't matter. It didn't matter what they went through. They just knew they had hope and they're going to win. They had greatness inside them and they were going to do whatever it takes to be able to be a champion because within you is a champion. Now, some of those seeds we talked about that are going to, that, that have already sprouted up, that this one seed is going to knock all that fruit off. Things like fear, overwhelming sadness, low self-esteem, avoidance, anxiety, depression, loneliness, addictions, eating disorders, wrongly, wrongly diagnosed mental health disorders, chronic health issues, jealousy, ego, rage, idolatry, sexual immorality, mediocrity, and so much more. This is such a tough list to review, but I want you to know that this one seed of greatness can shake all of that bad fruit off and send them to the ground to wilt, to die, decompose, and become compost to give nutrients to the rest of your journey. So the bad things you went through are fuel for the good things you're gonna experience. And so I just want you to have hope. I want you to know you have what it takes to succeed. I want you to visualize this seed growing in your life and many more seeds. I'm working on a book called, actually there's no title yet, but let's, let's think of one. The Ingredients for Confidence and Success, because I love food. There's a lot of food references that I've written throughout this. <laughs> I love food. And so today we could, we could go to the store. We could buy a pie that's pre-made. Easy, easy. We could go to the store and we could buy a pie crust and pie filling. And we could make the pie ourselves. <laughs> and today, like, you could, you could buy a franchise and be successful. But who has $2 million laying around? Not me. I'm not, I'm not inheriting that from nobody. And most people aren't. And so I want this analogy, this, this picture to be about you've got to work at creating the recipe from the scratch ingredients, from growing the seeds to having the final dish. And so we can't, we can't just wake up as a baby and go and be successful. And the world's going to tear us down every step of the way. And so a lot of us struggle with a lot of dark things. And so we got to get rid of a lot of things. We got to get rid of a lot of wrong thinking and we got to overcome a bunch of things. And we also have to create the ingredients from scratch. And so as we go through this process, as we go through this journey of the, the ingredients for success and confidence or the ingredients for confidence and success or whatever this book's going to be, I hope to walk through this with you and hear your feedback. Hear how this is helping you. Um, another example that I think about is Michael Jordan or Tom Brady. I can't wait to share some of these stories with you guys because their stories are just insane what they went through. 
But none of that mattered. They went on to become champions. And I believe that you can be a champion too. I believe in you. I love you. And I'll see you at the top. So I'll see you real soon.